Hello everyone. Welcome to the demo of the automated irrigation system for indoor plants. This device was an outcome of a problem that I personally faced. My sister had a beautiful bonsai. It belonged to the family Ficus. It was greenish and healthy till my family was away from home on an emergency. Um, when we came home, we found that Fiku was dead in thirst of water. I somehow wanted to fix this on my own style. The loss of Fiku gave birth to this device, the automated irrigation system. Let's first start looking at the components of the device and then we'll move on to the demo and further other details firstly the ultrasound sensor we will start with knowing the key components used in the device and their purpose as you could see here this water tub is filled with water and has a submersible aquarium pump at the bottom the complete device is mounted on the lid of the water tub for easy mobility. The bottom of the lid as you can see here is fixed with an ultrasound proximity sensor. This sensor is used to measure the amount of water present in the container. Constant reading from this sensor is sent to the main controller board. In this case I have used an Arduino Uno as my main controller. The value from the ultrasound sensor will vary based on the level in the container. It is important to keep the motor submerged in the water when it is working as because the coil of the motor would burn away if the motor runs dry for some time. So to avoid this the value measured from the ultrasound sensor would be used to measure the water level and if the water level goes below the preset lower level then the motor will not be turned on this would ensure that the motor is kept safe and then comes the the light indicators and the buzzers so in our device we have three lights used to indicate various conditions firstly the blinking green indicates that the plant has sufficient water this is called the the breathing light the yellow light would come on when the tank does not have sufficient water or when it ran out of water the red light would turn on when the plant becomes dry without water the next key component would be the drip nozzle and the hose used. So water pump from this motor is fed through the hose and is slowly dripped to the plants through these drip nozzles. The red cap on the dripper acts like a volume control. The level of the water fed to the soil can be manually controlled by turning the red cap. There would be situations where some plants would need more water and some would need less water comparatively within the same time frame. So this could be achieved by tuning the red cap nozzle. And then comes our soil moisture sensor. So this is one of the key components. Let's have a look at the tiny soil moisture sensor. This is an interesting component. but simple in principle the resistance value of the component is inversely proportional to the wetness of the soil don't worry about it it's all taken care automatically the microcontroller periodically reads the value from the sensor and converts that to reading to measure the dryness of the soil so when the reading from the sensor indicates that the soil has become dry the microcontroller would trigger the pump to water the plants automatically.
used in this device let's get into the working principle since my device has already watered the plants i'm going to manipulate certain conditions for the demo purpose that you would see in a while here is a first condition so the plant is thirsty and it needs water so i'm going to pull off the sensor from the soil that will emulate the condition equivalent to a dry soil i'm pulling off the sensor now and removing some mud sticking around its legs so we would see the plants being watered in few seconds yeah let's wait and watch water is now being pumped to the plants let's plug back the sensor into the soil and allow it to send the actual soil moisture level to the microcontroller so when the microcontroller reads that the soil is completely wet it should turn off the pump and stop watering the plants this is going to take a little while as the soil has to get wet completely okay let's wait and watch okay there she goes off the pump has been stopped automatically by the controller based on the soil wetness plan that we made the objective now with my device turned on i can enjoy my vacation without worrying about my balcony garden since the garden is partially outdoor and is it it is facing the sky it could get some showers from the rain as well not to worry we will not be over watering the plant at any time our watering system is not time bound if the soil gets some rain showers the soil sensor would keep informing the controller that it does not need water okay let's move on to the second condition now plant is wet with sufficient water but the tank ran out of water but as this is an automated irrigation system there are chances for us to forget that the container needs to be filled with water before planning for the vacation we are going to simulate that condition as well here okay so i have now emptied my tank and i'm going to bring back my own device now and let's see what's going to happen now okay now that the there is a yellow light on the device and the buzzing sound is an indication that the tank ran out of water and it needs to be refilled so before we refilling the tank with water let's check the third condition as well here so what would happen if the soil becomes dry and the tank is empty as well so let's wait and watch what happens then so i'm going to again pull off the soil sensor to emulate the dry condition yeah there you see the red light along with the yellow is on now and you are having a different buzzing sound so this state indicates that the soil is dry and the tank is empty as well okay let's go ahead and pour some water to the container and see what changes happen to it Oh yeah, it was caught. The tank has some water, but the plant is dry, so it started watering it again. I'm going to pull. Sorry, I'm going to put plug back the sensor to stop overwatering my rose plant. Okay, got done. Situation four. What if I overfill my container by mistake? Not a worry. It has been taken care as well. The whole device is mounted on the lid and the bottom of the lid also has the ultrasound sensor. So it is important not to damage the device by over watering the container mounted on the lid itself. So there will be a warning there's going to be a warning from the buzzer when the water exceeds the maximum level in the container. And in such a case 
the black button that you see right on the top will come handy. Pressing this button for 2 seconds automatically will pump out the excess water and keep the device safe. Okay, we are almost done with it now. So good that we have completely explored the features of the automated irrigation system. And with my device set up for your garden, you don't have to worry about watering them when you're away. Your plants could drink some water automatically when they are thirsty, even when you're far away from your home. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching and goodbye.